Hello and welcome to my second part of my beginner tutorial for Uto. Um, in the last part, we installed Uto and set our system so we could actually run it. If you look over here, you see that a picture is selected. That means we currently have a voice bank selected that we can make that we can uh, make songs with. This is Defaco, the default voice bank, and chances if this is your first time using Uto, this is going to be your only voice bank right now. But as you can see, the program looks pretty empty. Everything is in English, so an English speaking person can use it. But um, Defaco currently has nothing to sing. To make her sing, we need something called an, a UST. It's basically a vocal guide to tell the program at which pitch to sing and what to sing at that pitch. Chances are you can't do this by yourself at this moment since you're new to the program and you probably won't have any downloaded right now. So we need to find a UST we can use. Let's go um, with the classic series. First you need a song that you want to sing and that and that has a UST. How do you know that it has a UST now? Pretty simple actually. It sounds very stupid, but you literally um, let's go with "World Is Mine." You literally type in the title of the song and add UST behind it. Hit enter, and as you can see, we already have several offers which UST we can use. Let's click this one. Sega. That sounds very nice, doesn't it? So if you listen to the song and find it to your liking, usually um, when you go to the description, there should be a download link somewhere. Click it and download it from the website it comes from. Now something you should probably remember if you want to use Uto and use other people's USTs and don't make your own which is possible, but tends to be harder for new people. Um, you should remember the person who made the UST because chances are they put a lot of effort into making this UST and um, they felt so free to give it to you so you can use it. So please, um, please honor them and remember the name. And if you post your cover somewhere, remember to give some credit for the UST. Now, since the UST is downloaded, we just go to our downloads and drag the UST to our desktop. Here we go. Now we have the UST, uh, so now that we have it, click on it. This um, this window usually pops up when you open a UST. That means that something that the person used to make it, you don't have. Here it's just that we don't have the voice bank this person used for their um, for the UST, which is not a problem. We don't want to use the same voice bank anyway. So go to the drop down menu, or if you um, if you want, you can also do it. Click here. Select the voice bank you want to use. This is difficult. Now we have now we have selected and hit OK. Now this is what a UST looks like. Um, don't worry about all this Japanese. We will um, we will get to it later, what that all means. Um, and don't worry about it. Just because you don't know it, the program knows exactly what it's supposed to do. So this is a UST. You see this little exclamation mark. This means that something around here, here the envelope is not quite right. Now. You want to find out what is wrong. Select everything, go to region property, and this is something you will probably have to do a lot when you use other people's USTs. Sometimes um, something in pre utterance, overlap, and STP is written in there. It will be grayed out like this part, and you need to clear it. Here, everything is clear, but if there's every anything in there, you need to clear it, and if um, STP is grayed out, you need to double click it. So it becomes clear um, because um, that might fuck with your voice bank. 
So since everything is clear here, we hit OK. But the exclamation mark is still there. To fix that, you um, you go to this bar over here, hit reset, um, then this button, this, and this will help make your um, make your voice bank sound a bit smoother, because this allows um, the no the different notes have smooth transitions from each other. Now as you now we check in case there's any more red envelopes. Here if um, if you see a red envelope, just right click it, envelope, hit normal, and that should usually fix a problem. You do need to fix that because otherwise it could um, it could mess with the tempo and the the um, the whole file just sounds really weird. Now um, since we're done with that, let's just select the part we want to hear or sing and hit the play part. This will start the resampler and just wait for it to load and Sounds very nice, doesn't it? Now this is um, congratulations, you just made your first voice bank sing. But what if we don't want to use Defoco all the time? Since um, you just installed the program, chances are she really is the only voice bank you have. And you don't really have any options right now to make anyone else sing this song. But don't worry, you can always get other voice banks. The problem with Uto is though, since technically you can make your own voice bank for completely free, unlike Vocaloid, where there's only a set amount of characters you can buy. There are a lot out there, and chances are you won't know which to pick as a beginner. Now, since um, you do probably want another voice bank, let's just take a popular one like Teto Kasane. Chances are you already heard of her. Now, go back to Google. Close this and this, since you don't need it anymore. And, sir, and just Google Kasane Teto download. Right, the first thing you will see is our official website, so click on it. Scroll down. And um, click this picture here next to Diphone Only Voice Bank. What all these um, abbreviations mean, we will get to in another video. But right now, just click it. It will donate her voice bank. This can take a while, so I will get back to you when it's done. Alright, download is complete. Now open it in your downloads. Let's put it on our desktop too. You can put it anywhere you want. It doesn't need to be the desktop, just make a folder here. As you can see, I have a folder just for Utu files. But for the sake of um, this tutorial, let's just drag it out to the desktop. Now, how to install Teto's voice bank? Um, Teto's voice bank is actually very easy to install. You just open Uto. Just open your Uto. And you just drag it in. Um, chances are most voice banks don't install like that. To install them, you need to, you will probably also get a zip or a raw file. You need to unpack it, and as you can see here, you open it, and there are there's something like this, just the samples and some other files. You need to unpack those and open your voice file in your Uto dictionary. To get there, you go to your computer, then to program, then you search for your Uto folder, click on it, and then your voice. Then, um, then you insert the folder, close Uto, reload it, and you will have it inside. Now, to install Teto, we just drag it in. I can't do it... Oops. <laughs> uh, I already had Teto installed, so I'm not sure what it's doing anymore. But looks like it's installing again. So, um, then we'll have Teto twice on here, I guess. Just wait for it to finish installing. If you use um, 
if you have one of the other voice banks, then um, it will you it won't have to install. It's just already there when you open Uto the next time. So wait for it to finish. This is Teta. Here we can click sample to hear voice. Yeah. Perfect. Hit this. Now, um, how to select a different voice bank? Um, for that, go to project, project property, and you are back in this menu again. Just click here or pick the drop down menu and just pick Teto. Here we accidentally have her twice because I was an idiot. Just pick the one you have. Hit OK. And we have Teto selected as you can see here. Now, um, something you will have to do every time you pick a different voice bank. You need to um, select everything again, hit a reset and hit those two buttons again. This will, um, as I said, this will help have um, diff uh, smooth transitions between the different nodes. Now, as you can see, there are no red envelopes. So, just select the part you want her to sing again and hit the play key. Again, it will load. Just wait for it to finish. And that's basically it. You installed a different voice bank and made it sing. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you. So I hope I see you next time.